Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Ben the Human Plays Ixion. A uh, probe. Good job, probe. All of our spaceships are doing their work. The, the, the colony is doing work out here too. Still generating science. You're still in the storm. The science ship team has completed a task. Well, that was easy. The team reports that the Telluric formation is in, is circular in shape and has steep sides. They have begun mapping the numerous tunnels that lead inside it. Initial reports suggest that these are not created by natural phenomenon, but dug intentionally. Continued behavioral analysis of the team is registering breaches of Dolo safety protocol, as well as oh my god, as me, well as metaphysical and psychological aberrations. One crew member appears to have removed their protective helmet, convinced that the air in the tunnels was breathing. Accounting for P-41's atmosphere, the remaining lifespan is estimated to be 37 minutes. Okay. Uh. <laughs> um. Commencing DDoS attack flooding Eden Vigilance Network. The Seagulls team will be able to act without constraint, independent of Dolo's protocol. Continue the exploration of the formation, implementing strict psychological monitoring. With the help of specifically designed Dolos protocols, the Seagull team will continue their expedition and analyze the high levels of aluminum in P-41's atmosphere. Act without constraint. I mean, this, I feel like this is dooming them to die. But let's continue implementing strict monitoring. Maybe we can... I don't know if we can fix the one guy who took his helmet off. He's probably boned. But maybe we can we can prevent further deaths. I mean, like, I imagine as soon as he took his helmet off, that guy was effed. <laughs> oh, what was he thinking? Oh, we're out of science. Shocking. Part of that is all of our our ships are in the middle of harvest or uh, finishing missions, so they're not actually harvesting the science they've unlocked. Let's see. Oh, there's another point of interest over here. If I can find it. There it is. Oh, no, no. We've already got uh, a probe over in that direction. Let's take a look. There's some iron. A lot of iron. So let's send our probe there. We want to... I think it's fine to say we will try and dig out any more nodes of high material. And then we'll prioritize any silicon. But carbon is very low on the priority list and uh yeah and ice as well we would like to get more ice because we're down to about half water lethal weapon i've never seen that movie We've managed to defuse the missile. The technology contained within is not only more advanced than what was aboard the Tycoon, or even the Etemenenki, but of, it is of but is of a structure and logic belonging to a completely different scientific paradigm. We have transmitted data and schematics to the Tycoon Tech Lab for further analysis. Sick. Leave the wreckage, get that science. And now the storm has fully left the system entirely. So now we can unavoid oops we can unavoid all of these things on the other side of the system as well and now all the other science ships are coming in hot with their stuff we have discovered unusual bacteriological formations in the geysers of p51 the bacteria are not only capable of arranging amino acids but utilizing geyser emissions as binding agents they restructure mineral deposits and carve out basins around the geysers Further groups of bacteria were found within these basins, and we have named the bacteria Myers, and we would like to carry out further behavioral analyses. Sure. Conduct further tests on the Meyer bacteria. Don't let it into your suit, though. This is how contagion starts. The diseases, they're gonna get you. Get in science. Ooh, we have an event. Ah, we have enough data to analyze the Piranesi missile technology. The associated research project can be launched in the tech lab. With this, we should be able to set up countermeasures to protect ourselves from Piranesi weaponry. Sick. I will. I love it. Where is all this? Oh, it's up here. 
Hack threat, drone threat, missile threat. Makes sense. What do we got queued up after the the exo fighting dome? Ah, nano filters. Yeah, maybe then we we start doing some of the the Piranesi stuff. That does seem important. We would not like to go into a battle with the Piranesi and not be prepared. The dome is unlocked. Jesus, it's way bigger than I thought it was. <laughs> it's huge. Where the hell are we going to put this thing? Good grief. Um, hold on. I'm just like trying to... Okay, we can't put it over there. Could move this... I think that's the I think that's the way. Yes. Okay. So do we need these two houses first of all? We only have 303 people living in this in this zone. So goodbye. Goodbye. Secondarily, dismantle. Oh sick, we got some electronic back from that. Neato. Alright, dismantle all of this stuff. I do not remember the Exo Fighting Dome being that huge. More science has been retrieved. Fantastic. The Foucault, onward with your investigations of P-43 now. Good luck. Got another drone ready. Iron and ice. Dude, that's, that's a sick spot. We need more ice, so... Get our hands on that. Uh, let's push more alloy to the remaining sectors because sector one is kind of overwhelmed with alloy right now to the point that our um. Our steel mills are overwhelmed with the the alloy. Small stockpile. Where? Here? Our food stockpile? No, we're gonna starve. A probe has completed its scan. Good job, probe. All right. Yes. Once we tear down all of these things, that'll be great. I wonder if we shouldn't start researching the next type of, uh, quarter. Yeah, I think we should go for the domatic, domatic quarter. I'm like going all in on full stability, like more stability, the better. Good job, Facult. I'm proud of you. Where are you at? You're over here. Our probe has discovered an unusual electromagnetic signal transmitting from beneath the surface of P-43. This signal shares many similarities with the one our team identified on the Rakotansky comet in the Immortan system. This is the Foucault crew. We have landed on P-43. The electromagnetic signal seems to be transmitting from below the planet's surface. We have only a limited amount of time to investigate before our suits in the Foucault's hull are compromised by the corrosive atmosphere. Young recommends the use of demolition charges to accelerate the excavation process. Use explosives to clear away as much of the sediment as possible that separates from the electromagnetic signal. I think the faster we do this, the better, considering they said they were probably going to die from the atmosphere. I think. <laughs> like, these are trained professionals. They can, they can deal with explosives. I have every faith in them. All right, we we are almost. Team has completed attack. We're almost ready. Let's see, where do you, where do you go? How big are you? We have to move the road. We have to get rid of that road, and then the rest of the road gets moved out. Okay, I understand. The road goes here, like this. And then we have a tidy little spot left. 
That's fine. Okay, the the sh the ship here, here, here. <laughs> There's too many ships. Thanks to the intensive psychological medical follow-up, the Seagull team was able to conclude the study. Sodium alu solid aluminum particles carried by the winds of P41 created the network of tunnels. The erosive process have transformed the topography of the planet. When the particles collide with each other inside the tunnels, their reverberation generates a low-frequency vibration. When this passes through the inner ear, it alters human neural activity. Huh. I don't want to do this. I feel like they're going to get killed. Good job, team. That seems sadistic. Like, for no reason. <laughs> You're like, yeah, yeah, you can go ahead and just, like, wander around the planet without... When we know for a fact that it messes with your brain. That just seems needlessly cruel. Horrible. This one's almost done. A science ship team has completed a task. The majority of the Meyer bacteria live inside a geyser's tube. Smaller groups do exist externally that appear to have been ex excluded. Samples from within the geyser reveal an organized society that is not only able to propagate other types of bacteria, but also use what can only be described as tools exchanged via ves vesicular transfer. We theorized a bacteriological language and with the help of the PA sent a message to the colony through the appropriate stimuli. They responded. The colony is proposed to follow us on an expedition addition to the tycoon. This will be a monumental undertaking as a single human cycle corresponds to several hundreds of theirs. We've de determined the best way of transporting the bacteria will be to settle a small colony. Th this is not okay. Within the respiratory tract of one of the crew. Perhaps an extreme method, but it will provide the ideal conditions for the bacteria. An intelligent and aware species. This will surely open the pathway for new perspectives. Scientists, you are not allowed to do this. The, the bacteria are trying to trick you. We leave. <laughs> well, that, that is an insane thing to, to propose. Is like, director, we can bring a, a, an intelligent bacteria back to the ship. We need to infect one of our people to do so. Absolutely not. You're going to infect the whole tycoon. And they're gonna kill us all. I don't trust anybody out here. Partially because I know what I'm capable of. All right, exo fighting dome, activate. Boom, holy hell, it's nine electronic. It's gonna take us forever. But that's fine. Yeah, that's why you gotta get started now. We have five electronic. We're working on one from the treatment center, and we're working on one in the electronics factory. So, we have two on the way. We'll just need two more after the fact. We don't have any in this district, and we don't have any in this district either. So, we'll just have to wait for that for a little bit. Looks pretty sick, though, even while it's under construction. Completed its scan. Very cool. Probe has completed his scan. We have finished Nomadic Quarter, wow. The science comes fast and furious now that our our tech lab is, is upgraded like as far as can be. We don't need polymers. What about fusion? Production speed, production speed. More water from ice. Not a bad idea, but we need pressure cutters, which means augmented building protocols. Which means they repair faster. Eh. I don't know about that. Reduces training time. I don't think I feel like... I don't feel like devoting any kind of... <laughs> <laughs> research to the to the colonization training center. We did talk about getting these knocked out, so let's let's do that. Be easy to be seduced by the ideas of getting even more cool technologies, but we do have to get some stuff. Oh, sick! The Domotic quarter is the same size as the is the the uh the optimized quarter. Oh, cool! Oh, but it takes electronic. Uh. There's the downside. I see. Okay, okay. Well. 
we could shove some in in here you could go one two one two three and then you'd have to rip up that road but that would be okay I mean that makes electronic even more important We might want to consider getting a second uh, factory up and running. Has completed a task. And you know what? Once we get the electronic from this guy, what I think we should do, tear down our electronics factory, flip it around. Because I, I, I should never have put this road out here. This road is stupid. But I should, I should tear it down, flip it around, move this road over one. Uh, and then maybe build a second electronics factory. Could we even fit that in here? Let's take a, let's do a, a, a thought experiment here. So if we put this here, you could fit there, but we'd have to tear out this silicon storage spot. But that wouldn't be the worst because we do have a lot of space still going on out here. So let's go ahead Rip this road up, move it over, and then throw down this guy. And then we'll tear this guy out, and then we can get two electronics facilities set up in the future. Oh, the Facult's already done. Jeez, you guys are too fast. The explosion, which was- Ah! The, the gray spheres are back! Which was larger than expected, revealed a huge system of subterranean tunnels. Despite the rubble and instability of the area, the Facult's team identified a passageway leading to the anomaly. The journey downward was without incident. The anomaly is in a large cave full of strange geological forms. Concentric circles are present on the walls, reaching from floor to ceiling informed of many layers of different sediments. Crystal formations have grown everywhere. What is most astonishing, however, is the anomaly itself, a huge gray sphere, about four meters in diameter, floating in the center of the cave. We've, uh, we've discovered this before. Uh, let's d examine the sphere. We must learn all we can about the spheres. We have another probe ready to rock and roll. Got some iron. Silicon and ice. Iron and carbon. More ice. Oh. A lot of ice. Oh. Big. Whoa. The mother load of the silicon. All right, these two are collecting science, so we won't move them until they're done. I think we're I think we're all out of points of interest after P37. So what I'll do is once you are finished at P51, I'll move you to P42 and then you'll just come back to the tycoon and then the Facult will go to P37 and then we'll be good on points of interest, I believe. Yeah, if we go to the Demotic Quarter, it's going to be very important to get electronics going like crazy. And, uh... Oh, I was like, where did all our alloy go? Holy hell! I did not realize this building takes 450 alloy. Hacking threat analysis has been unlocked. Let's put you guys back to half, half, <laughs> half uh, resources then. In fact, you, uh, oh, not sector six. Sector two can get knocked down even further. You, we don't need a lot of alloy in sector two. Another, another super party has, uh, has knocked the alternative life center offline. We finished hacking threat analysis. Good job. On to the next one. The gear has re achieved all science. Leave the bacteria homeworld behind. Don't you dare put that on my ship. I don't trust you. I don't trust anyone on this ship. Build enough batteries. That's gonna be, you know, 
we should probably be investing in that as well. Charging speed increase, not what I'm really interested in. I think we go battery tier two after we've finished the Piranesi stuff. So get these two knocked out and then get tier two battery going. This is gonna <laughs> this is gonna drain all of my alloys out of out of all of my ship. I did not realize this had so many alloys associated with it. My eyes glued to the the nine electronic required, and then I was like, it's fine. Totally forgot about the other resource that's loaded in there. Oh, got all the science from the other one. All right, I think you guys can just come on home. So let's go back to the tycoon. We might swap that out for another mining ship, perhaps. Food's still doing just fine. Population doing okay over here. I wonder. Because this is four wide. Hmm. You could run housing like that. To rethink my layout of things. What happened? Probe completed scan. Drone threat analysis is done. Good job. Those are very small science amounts, so they're going to get burned through pretty fast. We're researching like insanely fast. All right, one more electronic coming out of the waste plant that's great oh we're up into a hundred waste already holy cow we need to process faster didn't i do that one research Team has completed a task. yeah i thought recycling is 20 percent faster for electronics it's still saying one per every 10 cycles you'd think this would say eight cycles now let's wait no it never changed. I'll sue. <laughs> I've been I've been had. <laughs> Unless I'm just not understanding how it works. Um okay, let's see here. You guys. The sphere repels anyone or anything that gets too close to it, as if it were a magnetic repelling another. According to our readings, the sphere is composed of multiple layers. A thin gaseous layer covers the surface, a seemingly sedimentary layer beneath. Within that, the core generates a strong electromagnetic field that periodically degasses the surface. We have also detected the presence of particles characteristic of self-similar space. Behavioral reports indicate that Mario is developing a strange fascination with the sphere. Mario, no! We can't let this happen to you. Uh, study the concentric circles, please. You're getting the science from over here. Cool. One more, one more electronic. Missile threat analysis has been unlocked. So fast. Well, now what the heck do we do? Can I upgrade my train station? Nope. <laughs> we could get the drone bay, which uh, allows resources to be transferred even faster. I don't have the water treatment center. I don't use the fire station really. Could get the, the I don't think the large stockpile is useful. Ooh, more transporters would be good though. Let's get that one. I'm always waiting on resources to be transferred around. Alright, and we're going to move the silicon from here to here. And then we're going to delete you. Shut it down. Alright, you're almost done. And then... How many people do we have in here? We still don't need... 
these two houses either. So let's tear you guys down. We're just tearing down all these houses that we have no purpose for. People are like, I'm moving so much. Just sucking up energy that I don't need to. Battery tier two. Let's take a look at that. I don't know if I've ever used the tier two battery. Okay, it is chunkier than than the the tier one battery. However, it does fit in some interesting spaces as a five by five, and it is more. Oh, it takes two electronic too. See, this is why electronic super important. So it stores 300 power. So it stores three times the power, but takes up... Just, let's see. About two and a half times the space. So I'm just trying to think, like, where would you even put it? Like, maybe over here? Maybe we try to consolidate some of our stuff or move the polymer factory so it's, like, in a in the corner, perhaps? And then maybe we could... Del if we started building, de building Demotic Quarter, we might be able to, to eliminate even more of these extra housings. Team has completed a task. Hmm. All right, the Foucault... What did you, did you, did, are you okay? <laughs> did the sphere get you? The con concentric circles do not have a classical geological origin. A phenomenon unknown and external to the geological activity observed on P43 generated these strange formations. The circles are not perfect, but the distance between each layer is proportional to their diameters. Atomic analysis revealed the presence of particles characteristic with self-similar space. Sensors indicate that the team suits and the Foucault's hull will soon be compromised by the planet's atmosphere. Repatriation should be initiated with urgency. So we will do that. Um, the thing that's cool about this event is it kind of points to this, the spheres being the reason for self-similar space travel, uh, with the particles that, that have the self-similar space. Um, there's been a lot of talk on the subreddit and such about how the spheres might be the reason for us being able to, like, essentially warp travel like we do, and that the moon possibly had a sphere on it before it exploded and that's the reason we can use self-similar space travel after the moon blows up there's a lot of interesting theories around there let's go ahead and leave the planet as we were preparing to leave the cave mario leaped on the sphere unlike our previous attempts they were not repelled and they were sucked in everything has been recorded in the report <laughs> we will leave this barren cursed rock mario how could you do this mario you goon all right, we'll let them collect the science and then we'll have to bring them back. Um, to to the ship. So what we'll actually do is we'll we'll swap the two ships as we'll send the the seagull out to do this last point of interest and then we'll bring the Facult back because without a, a crew member they won't be able to go on any more missions. But for now, we're going to let uh we're going to go ahead and let the episode roll finish here and then we're going to finish our re configuration of district one here once the exo fighting dome is done so uh if you guys enjoyed the episode please click the like button it helps me out a lot if you want to see more episodes of ixion or the other videos i have going on on the channel subscribe to the channel make sure you have your notifications on so you know when the next videos go live but until next time everybody i hope you had a good one and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye everybody